Hey guys, welcome back to the channel as always. Now, a very interesting email dropped in my inbox this week, and that email came from Shop Disney. And the email stated that if you spent £100 on Shop Disney's website, you got a free mystery box that Shop Disney put a value on of £50. So £100 spend nets you a mystery box of items that are worth, apparently, £50. So this, as I said, was interesting. So the first thing I did was to head over to Shop Disney's website to see if this uh, promotion worked on Lego, because generally they don't. And to my pleasant surprise, it did. So I then dug a bit deeper to see what uh, Lego sets do Shop Disney currently have on sale. Do they have any uh, re retail exclusives that may be difficult to get discounted elsewhere? And they had a few. They had the Razor Crest. They had Ambush on Ferrex. They had the Mini Disney Castle. Um, they had the Mini Haunted Mansion, to name a few. But it was the Razor Crest that got me excited because this is a set that is retiring this year and it is a set that I want to invest in because I do think it's going to be popular in the aftermarket. But it's one that personally I'm going to find difficult to get in big numbers at big discounts because this set was originally scheduled to retire back in 2021 and I actually reached my limit for these back in 2021. I bought the five that you're allowed to buy back then and that means this year... I can't buy any. So the usual method that I like to get sets discounted by combining gift cards, cash back, gift of purchase, etc. I can't do that. So the only way I could buy these directly from Lego is going to physical Lego, Lego stores. But then once you factor in uh, petrol parking, it just doesn't make good financial sense to do that if I'm not going to a Lego store uh, facility or a Lego store area anyway. So Lego shop at home, Lego physical stores for me are out of the question for this one. So then you take a look at Amazon where you can also buy this set. And if you look on Camel Camel Camel, this set has only ever been reduced to £112.99. So in its two, three year shelf life, Amazon have only very generously reduced its price by £7. So if you're holding out for a good discount for the Razor Crest from Amazon this year, it's likely not going to come based on the history of the discounts they've previously done on the set. So then we head over to Shop Disney where the current where there is this current offer. And it's worth noting that in the past, Shop Disney has done a 20% off offer on the Razor Crest. I can't remember exactly if it was uh, Black Friday or whether it was May the 4th day, but essentially they have done this offer in the past. But I do recall that this when this offer went live, the set did sell out in hours. It wasn't minutes, it was hours, but that was when the set wasn't even retiring. This year, now the set is retiring. I expect that if Shop Disney did repeat that offer, it would sell out immediately within minutes because this year resellers are going to be targeting the set and if you're not there at the right time when this offer goes live I just don't think you have a chance to get it even if Shop Disney do repeat it because this is all speculation but basically because I can't guarantee Shop Disney will repeat the offer and if I'll get it if they did I can't really rely on it as a source or avenue to get this set in good numbers so that's why I got to be look at more creative means to get this set discounted so when I saw this email I thought okay this could be one of those means because the, the upfront cost is 120 I would then buy the set through the complete savings cashback portal which would get me 12 back and that would leave me with a current spend of 108 for the set. And the idea is then I'd sell the contents of the mystery box on eBay and then I would deduct the cost of what I, uh, well, I deduct the sale price of the of the most likely junk of the mystery box off the overall price of the of the set. So um, 108 is the 120 is the original spend, 12 pound cashback comes to 108, and as I said, then whatever I sell, I'll deduct that from the 108. So that's the premise. Um, hopefully um, I shop Disney value at 50. If I can get 20 back for it and take it down to 88. So that if I'm getting a raise crest for 88, I'll be pleased. So um, so yeah that's the idea. Okay, and just like magic, here is the mystery box. Now, disclaimer, I did open the box earlier. I'm not opening the box for the first time on camera. Now, the reason I did that is so I could give a running total of what the items in the box are worth, so I could do some research prior to filming. So, sorry about that. And There are some interesting items in this box, so uh, that'll open it in just a second. If, after watching this video, you want to get your hands on one of these boxes, the Shop Disney offer is still running. I believe up until Saturday so you can make your mind up but anyway let's open the box so, well reopen the box so, so the first thing I'm going to show you hopefully it comes up on camera very strange it's Lego channel but 
This is where we are now. Um, we're looking at a Encanto a doll. I believe this one's called Mirabelle or Maribel. Um, from my research earlier on in the day, and I'll show you on screen now, it seems to be selling for uh, very sporadically, but one there for 20 free postage, one there 19.99 best offer, one there 89 best offer, one there 27.99 best offer. Um, one there, nineteen ninety nine. So my target for this is probably going to be quite conservative. I'm going to say seven pound fifty. If I get seven pound fifty for this, um, I will be uh, yeah quite pleased. So I think the way I'll try to sell this will either be on uh, eBay or on Facebook Marketplace. I feel potentially it could be a good Facebook Marketplace item. I did look on Amazon as well and it actually is selling really well. It's the best seller in soft toys, but unfortunately you have to apply to sell. I'm not ungated in selling plush toys, so I can't, can't sell on Amazon in this case. So it's gonna be eBay or the Facebook Marketplace. So that's the first thing. And we're going to stay on trend, uh, or stay yeah with the current kind of thing. And it's another, it's another doll. It's uh, this one's Antonio. It's another Encanto doll. Um, looking at this one again, it seems to be selling. Uh, one sold there, twenty sixth of Feb for nineteen ninety nine. One on the thirty first of Jan for twenty one. Twenty one fifty there, six fifty pre owned. I think there's currently one on bidding for like nine ninety nine. Or ten. So again, estimate for this is about seven fifty. Um, similar to the other doll, hopefully sell on eBay or the as a pair on Facebook Marketplace for fifteen. Um, and if I could sell them fifteen, that would be the, the total spend. So far would be so yeah, hundred eight take fifteen. So ninety three back um, if I can sell these dolls for seven pound fifty. So yeah, total spend of £93 if I can sell both of these dolls for £15. But it doesn't end there. Uh, but they are the best things. Um, next, we've got this uh, uh, Mini Cuddly's Dale. Now, I did look on eBay on this, and there are no registered sales in the UK in yeah, on eBay. And obviously, I can't find this thing on Facebook. So, um, price I'm going to put on this is maybe... Pounds, maybe two pounds. I can try and get back for this. Um, I don't know. Maybe if I do a fair or something, or I might just give it to one of my one of my dogs. But uh, I say I did get the pounds. That's now from ninety three. We're at ninety two. Spend for the razor crust. Next, we've got this uh, Disney micro pack. Now, again, um, there's a few. There's like three listings for this on eBay, but there I can't couldn't see any sales. Listings currently five ninety nine. Um, again, um, not much on Facebook or Amazon. Again, I'd probably put a price on this similar to the Dale of a one or two pounds. Let's say two pounds for this. Let's let's go all out. So two pounds, um, if we sold this at a fate or fair or something, that would give us a total spend, I think now down to 90 for the Razor Crest. Uh, and, and lastly, uh, in the box we've got this. Uh, it's a souvenir booster pack celebrating 50th anniversary of, uh, of is it Disney World or some, oh yeah, Walt Disney World 50th anniversary. Um, so it actually looks good. You get an array of uh, a key ring, badges, uh, is that a tea coaster? Um, uh, things, yeah. So on on eBay, uh, no registered sales. There's two currently on sale. I think one was at 29.99 and one was 20s, 26.99 or something like that. Um, one of them has watches. No sales, but it does have watches. So I think I might try and sell this for, I don't know, what price to put on this? Let's try, I'll try list it for eight ninety nine after posted. Let's try and get a fiver. Um, either that or again, I'll try it on the Facebook Marketplace. But I'll try and get a fiver for this all in after fees, etc. So if I did manage to achieve that, that would bring the total cost down to the Razor Crest to eighty five pounds. So you know, it's it's hard to price these items up accurately. Um, as I said, some of them aren't selling. 
at all. Some of them are selling uh, sporadically, and some of them aren't, yeah, just aren't even available for sale. So it's, it's, it is hard to price. Um, but if I could sell them throughout the year, I'm, then I'm not going to rush to sell these. They could be on eBay for months and months. If I could sell them and get, uh, so that would be what was I started from 90 eight down to eighty five so yeah twenty three pounds if I get twenty three pounds and uh yeah um put my total spend for the razor crest to eighty five then that's that's a pretty good deal uh, i would i would take that i'd take that as a buy into the razor crest following on from this box will I decide to place another order to get another mystery box today um probably not um just because these things, I think, might take quite a long time to shift. But you never know. I might even try listing them up on the Facebook Marketplace this afternoon just to see if there's any any uh, any uh, quick tra traction. If anyone suddenly jumps on and thinks, I want this tat, let's, uh, we'll see. Um, before I cl uh, wrap up the film, though, or this video, I just want to make or bring your attention to the fact that on this box, if it doesn't zoom in there, if, uh, it, if it does focus, it says box B. So it looks like to me these are pre-made boxes. So how many boxes there are, um, that's, a, that's a question I don't know the answer to. And uh, would you get the same box again? Most likely the boxes contain different things. So you could get different things next time. Um, so yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this slightly different video. If you did, as always, uh, please leave a comment and a like. And if you are now going to take a chance on this offer, then uh, please let me know. Um, as, as always, guys, thanks for watching.